Introduction to Meter, Part 1. Today we will learn what is meter and the relationship between meter and centimeter. Hey Riyansh and Ayushman, why are you sitting and wasting time? Why don't you practice? Practice for what? Don't you know, there is a long jump competition in our school next month and children from other schools are also participating in it. You both have been selected from your class to participate in the boys long jump competition. That means we have to jump? Yes, and not just jump, but jump longer than other children so that you can win the competition. We both are champions at jumping, so we don't need to practice for that. Okay, so tell me, how many meters can you jump? What is meant by meter? Meter is a unit of measurement of length. But ma'am, the length of objects is measured in centimeters, right? That's what sir told us in the classroom. Yes, length is measured in centimeters but it is also measured in meters. Centimeter is a unit of measurement of length. Similarly, there are other units of measurement for measuring length. Meter is one of them. But ma'am, centimeter is already there as a unit of measurement for length. Then why do we need meter? Different units of measurement are required because lengths are different. Centimeter is very small, therefore it is used to measure small lengths. But to measure bigger lengths, meter is used. We measured a break in centimeters. Can we measure break in meters too? No, break is small, therefore it cannot be measured in meters. Only those objects whose length is more than 100 centimeters are measured in meters. Why only bigger than 100 centimeters? Why not smaller than that? Because 1 meter has 100 centimeters. Or we can also say that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Which means if the length of an object is 100 centimeters, then can we say that the object is 1 meter long? Absolutely right. Why not say 100 centimeters? Okay, come, I will explain you. If I ask you to measure the length of the seat, then what will you measure it with? With this small matchstick or with this big stick? Mm, I will measure it with this stick. Why? Because with this I can measure quickly. I will have to use matchstick several times. You mean to say that measuring this long bench with the stick is much easier and practical. Yes. In the same way, meter is used to measure long things or objects and centimeter is used to measure small things or objects. Now I understand why is long jump measured in meters. Why? Because a long jump will definitely be longer than a hundred centimeter. So it makes it easier and practical to measure a long jump in meters. Now we have had a lot of talks. Come jump and show so that we can measure it. Okay, I will jump first. How long did I jump? Let's measure it. You have jumped 2 meters, Ayushman. Can you jump longer than this, Rayansh? It doesn't look very difficult. Let me try. Hey Rayansh, you have jumped longer than Ayushman. But there is not much difference. Let's measure, then we will know. Rayansh, you have jumped 2 meters and 10 centimeters. 2 meters or 10 centimeters? 2 meters, 10 centimeters. I didn't understand ma'am. Tell me either in meters or in centimeters. Hey Rayansh, it is not necessary to tell length in just one unit of measurement. We can write it in two units of measurements as well. For instance, your long jump is 2 meters 10 centimeters. This means that you have jumped a length of 2 meters and 10 centimeters. Okay, now I understand. Riyansh has jumped just 10 centimeters more. So if I practice a little then I will be able to jump longer. I know. You both can win the long jump competition. That is why I am saying that you need to practice. Okay. We will practice now. 
But how long did the winner of previous competition jump? In the previous competition, the longest jump was two meters and eighty centimeters. At present, I can jump two meters. I will have to jump an additional eighty centimeters. Hmm, and I will have to jump another seventy centimeters. This is last year's record. It is possible that this year somebody may jump longer. Therefore, keep practicing and try to jump the longest. Okay, madam. Today you learn that meter is a unit of measurement to measure length. One meter has hundred centimeters. Apart from centimeter, meter can also be used to measure length. The length can be represented using both meter and centimeters together. For instance, Rayansh jumped two meters and ten centimeters. Introduction to meter, part two. Today we will learn. how to convert centimeter into meter how to convert meter into centimeters and also identify which objects are measured in meters and which objects are measured in centimeters ayushman teacher has given this form we have to write our height in this so that she can put us in the correct group show me But what is the relation between our height and long jump? I don't know. It is possible that tall people can jump longer. So groups are made as per people's height. Ayushman, height is to be written in meters and centimeters in this. Yes, but I know my height only in centimeters. Me too. What to do now? I think we can convert centimeters into meters. How? See, yesterday, madam told us that one meter has one hundred centimeters. Yes. So, so with this information, I can write my height in meters and centimeters. I still do not understand. Can you show me? See, my height is one hundred and forty-four centimeters. Now let's write it like this: hundred centimeters plus forty-four centimeters. Oh, now I understand. Hundred centimeters equal one meter. So we can write hundred centimeters as one meter. Yes, and now I can write in the form one meter forty four centimeters. Now I can also write my height by converting it into meters. Then what are you thinking? Come on, do it quickly. Look, my height is one hundred and forty centimeters, so I can write it as hundred centimeters plus forty centimeters. Now I can write this hundred centimeters as one meter. Therefore, my height is one meter forty centimeters. The form has been filled. Come, let's give it to the teacher. Let's go. I am little confused about centimeters and meters. What is the confusion? That is, which object's length is measured in centimeters and which objects in meters? The teacher had told us that objects with length more than hundred centimeters are measured in meters, and objects with lengths less than hundred centimeters in centimeters. I know that, but. How do we figure that out in our daily life? Which objects in our surroundings will we measure in centimeters and which one in meters? Okay, that is easy. See, this tree, it would be appropriate to measure it in meters as it is very big. The height of our school building too should be measured in meters. Oh, okay, I get it now. Hey, the teacher is not here. Come, let's keep the form here. Now tell me which unit will you use to measure this table? We will measure it in meter as it is very big. So will we measure the stationary items on the teacher's table, such as paper, stapler, pen, in centimeters? Yes, because all these objects are very small. There is one more question. We converted our height from centimeters to meters. But if we have to convert meters into centimeters, then what should we do? That is very easy. 
we are aware that 1 meter has 100 centimeters so if an object is 4 meters long then to convert its length into centimeters we will multiply it with 100 which means the length of a 4 meter object in centimeters would be 4 multiplied with 100 equals to 400 cm yes absolutely right come on now let's go and practice the long jump otherwise our jump will have to be measured in centimeters <laughs> today we learned how to convert centimeters to meters and meters into centimeters and and which objects should be measured in meters and which one in cent introduction to meter part 3 today we will learn that while measuring the length both value and unit are taken into account and how to compare lengths written in two different units of measurement what are you thinking vandana hmm i'm not able to solve this question how can i find the answer what is the question The question is there are two objects the height of first object is 10 meters and the height of the second object is 10 cm which among them is bigger What is there to think in this this is a very easy question It is not easy it is a wrong question look properly the length of both the object is 10 that means both of them are of the same height Oh no you got it all wrong 10 is just the value but to measure the length we don't just look at the value but we look at the unit of measurement too meaning for example in this question the length of the first object is given as 10 meters this means that 10 is the value and meter is the unit both are important to find the length of any object i did not understand tell me more Look, centimeter and meter are two different units of measurement to measure length. One centimeter is smaller than one meter. One meter has hundred centimeters in it, which means when an object will be hundred centimeters, then it will be equal to one meter. Okay, like here, the length of one object is written with different units of measurement. Therefore, there is a difference in their value too. Yes and look despite the value is less the length of this object is equal to the other object Yes i understand it now 10 meter is bigger in 10 cm and 10 meter Do you know this length could be that of a sparrow and a dinosaur because a sparrow could be 10 cm long whereas a dinosaur could be about 10 meters long Yeah that's possible This is a question from the book Now try to answer the question that I will ask you. Ask me. The length of an object is 200 cm and the length of the second object is 1 meter. Tell me which one among them is longer? What is there to think here? The object with 1 meter length is bigger. How? You only told me that meter is big and centimeter is small. Therefore 1 meter should be bigger. I knew that would be your answer. What did you think? Have I said anything wrong? Yes, you got it wrong. You do one thing. Draw lines of both these lengths on the floor and see. Okay. First I will draw a line of 1 meter. Now I will make a line of 200 cm. Hey, the centimeters line turned out to be longer. That means a value written in centimeters can be longer than one written in meter. I am confused. Now you explain. Centimeter is smaller than meter. Actually, centimeter and meter are units of measurement for measuring length, and objects can be measured both in meters and centimeters. Oh, this means the length which can be written in meters, the same can be written in centimeters too. Yes now you have understood this means there will be always confusion in this won't be just remember one thing 
when you are asked to compare lengths written in different units then first write both of them in the same unit meaning look one length is in centimeters and one in meters then write down both the lengths in meters by converting centimeters into meters okay now i understand to convert a meter into centimeter we will multiply it with 100 So we can write it as hundred centimeters. Now, if we compare hundred centimeters with two hundred centimeters, then we can tell that two hundred centimeter is bigger. Now convert two hundred centimeters into meters and see. Two hundred centimeters divided by hundred gives two meters. Yes, even now you can compare one meter and two meters and say that two meter is bigger. Now I have understood completely. What did you understand? That centimeter and meter are used as units to measure length. To find the length of an object, both its value and unit of measurement are required. And that it is not appropriate to compare the length of different objects only based on their value. To correctly compare lengths of objects the units of both should be made the same